we just gotta make this into a short little introduction. This is what you can expect from the game. Welcome back to the channel. We're gonna do that thing that worked that one time. Hello. Uh, and I found a hat. I didn't notice this last time. We're gonna talk about the remastered of Castle Crashers and our opinion on it. Because you value our opinion so much, Internet. <laughs> so, the game came out in 2015, at least this version of the game came out in 2015. The remaster. While the original game came out in 2008. So this game's older than GTA, or, you know, who watched the internet would say, this game's old as shit. So, you know, there's that. Um, I like it. I We're gonna talk about what it's like, though, to play it modern day, as opposed to the, the GTAs and cyberpunks of the modern gaming day. I, I enjoy it, though I'm, a, like, if I play games at all, I prefer games like this that are side-scrollers. Um, I think the animation holds up well, um, especially for, even though it was remastered in 2015, a game that came out in 20, er, 2008. Well, 2015, for the remastered. Right. You were playing the remaster. Right. But, I mean, I guess, yeah, because they didn't really do much to in way of changing things. I mean, I'm no programmer, but... Uh, I would argue, like, when it comes to, like, graphics-wise, obviously it's not winning any crazy awards for its game-changing effects. But, I mean, it's uh, cool. Yeah, I like the colors. I like... I like how um, the figures move across the screen. Well, I would say like it, when it comes to this game, like when it comes to gameplay, it's got memorable tracks. Even if you guys don't get to hear them on our playthrough, because YouTube would give us the big delete. You yeah. Know. YouTube might not like it when we play music on this channel, but. Whenever I'm playing this game, like, it'll always catch me vibing to the music when I'm not, you know, on the tube of the U. So, I mean, yeah, when it comes to, like, side, as, as far as side scrolls go, granted, a lot of side scrolls have amazing songs. You know, side scrolls are my favorite kind of games, or at least one of. <laughs> Like that's up. Like um, we're kind of blowing all of a sudden through. Uh, what's his face? Scott Pilgrim. Why are you doing that? You look at you, foolish. Foolish. Well, I need not open doors. Fine. Anyway. Um, I. Another thing I really like about the game is the character design. They're very simple, but also. Um. That's the right adjective. Unique? Yes, that that's a good adjective. They're very unique and interesting to look at. I mean, it's like... it. It's not really like many other side scrollers, at least not in my opinion. There's a lot of distinctive differences. Like, we get cute, cuddly animals that fly and follow us around while we beat down giant Hulk-like meme, meme status characters. You know, mm -hmm. minus like the terrible moaning noises that the ladies can sometimes sometimes give off to add to said meme status. I mean, the jokes are still funny for me, someone who's played it multiple times, and for even for Sheila, I assume. Yeah, yeah, I think the jokes are still funny. Like um, when the one um, bad guy. Um, I don't know if you would pay. Hey. I don't know if you would necessarily call it 
talking, but like when some of the things the bad guys are say say sometimes are funny. If I can talk, I can't talk and play games. Okay, it's so now that, now that I'm trying to say my piece, um, there are things like if you watch my first or our first playthrough of the game, you can still hear me laughing at scenes. It's still got some. It's still got some challenges to it in way of how hard the fights can be, or by which I mean really how many hordes of enemies they can throw at you at once. The enemies are still funny. The fights are still funny. The game is hilarious. And I mean, it has a unique play style to it that made it stand through the test of time. Let's move on, though, to some of their cha the more disappointing or challenging aspects of the game. I was a little disappointed that we had to do so much uh, XP farming and um, farming for, like, coins to get um, items that we needed. I would have liked to be able to see the story more rather than having to go back and play the same thing. I honestly like that part of it. I mean, the XP farming is a big part normally of these kinds of games. So when it comes to XP farming, I have no real issue. My issue with the game, though, is like... Eventually, it like if you're playing it for an extended period of time with no breaks, like we do on stream when we're going for like two hours at a time, mm -hmm. it gets really boring really quick. Yeah, that... Unlike a game like Gang Beast, where it can always be something different, you know what to expect. There isn't any real unique, like, oh, hey, look, there's a new enemy. Yeah. After a while, you're kind of, you kind of know all the enemies, you know what they're all about, and if you're not really trying to plat the, like, platinum the game, you're kind of gonna get bored quick. Well, that's what I was saying about the um, XP farming. Like, it, it's a lot of the same. But, um... Granted, I'm I am going into this already excited about it. Um, getting the, to do the hard mode. That'll definitely be a fun stream. I would agree. Um... Any other comments? Because, I mean, we need... I think there's some more things we could probably add to this. Yeah. Um, I don't know if the audience knows this, but I have a minor in studio arts. So that's why I was talking a lot about, like, character design and color and things like that. And I will say the, that I like the cartoony style. Um, it, it's different from other games, which I find more aesthetically pleasing. Um, the colors are very vibrant, which is just kind of how I do my art, too. I like vibrant colors and complex colors. Any, any notes? Wow. Well. Well. Well, you suck. <laughs> oh, okay. Jokes on you, I'm editing this one, probably. <laughs> I'm the editor. I mean, you're always the editor. Well, yeah, I can't afford to have anyone else do it for me. So, I would say that there is an aspect of, like, uh, while there might not be any mystery left, like, if you're creative enough, you can always make things... Uh, like, you can always ta tackle a different... It's the, the best way to combat the my critique of how many things are... or how much this can get boring is honestly, like, 
the variety of characters it gives you. Granted, you already know what their powers are, typically based off of their color scheme. Like, I knew green was poison. I You can tell orange is gonna be f the fucking... Fire. That, I will say, I didn't expect blue to be... Uh, Ice. Or, I mean, I didn't expect red to be plasma or lightning, but... Yeah, I would have expected red to be fire. I honestly think it would have been smarter to make, like, a white... Like, make a white knight or whatever you want to call it. Mm -hmm. Have him be lightning. Or, like, if they did something... They could have, like, really done some cool stuff, like, make a black knight. Have him be darkness. Mm -hmm. or, like, um... What's it? Like, Yami's void. Mm -hmm. Or make the purple one void and the green one nature. Or the purple poison and green nature. I don't think there's a green or purple knight. There is a purple knight. No, there's not. Yeah, there is. Maybe. He has the antlers. He's the he's the blacksmith. He has it's, a it's, big it's froggy guy? Yeah, that's the blacksmith. Oh. Why he, it's why he summoned the giant frog. I thought he was I'm like, leaving this anyway. Look. No, I leaving. thought he was like a druid knight or something. No, nope, I'm leaving this in. This is hilarious. No. If Public I will shaming me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but like I mean, I could absolutely see like me, Aaron, Sheila and Ja all playing this game and having a blast. Ja, if you made it this far in the video, you fucking ADHD ridden fuck. But, um, I think that. First off, Aaron, you need to hop on this game. I'm just saying. All the poop jokes. Look, look at this. Ah. There is a deer. Like, Alright. First off, of course this game is hilarious. There's a deer rocketing with fucking poop. How are you not entertained? But anyway. And an owl and a bear shit themselves. I mean, then there's like... Mysteries, like what the hell even is the thing chasing us in this scene? Yeah, that's never explained. Wait a minute. The like, it's just kind monsters. of a tribe of hairballs. <laughs> tribe of hair monsters. And it's never talked about. Like, not to mention, though, one of my biggest issues with the game, honestly, is how underwhelming the final fight was. It was boring. The I mean, final fight was garbage. I mean, I wouldn't call it garbage. I liked it. I didn't call it garbage. I called it garbage. Hmm. Which is Spanish for garbage. Or is it? But seriously, though, I thought the final fight was kind of mid at best. A run through of some of their best they had to offer as a tribute to them and then like a three phase boss which was kind of generic because like every game ha I tried to kill you. Why did you do that? Because it looks like all the other ones. Every bat looks the same to me. How dare you. But ah. I mean, it's just a matter of, I think, it could have been better. I don't know. Like, multiple bosses at once. You really want you want a challenge? Oh, that's a challenge. That's not a knife. This is a knife. I mean, I thought the final boss was challenging. I guess, but, but like, again, it could have been like... Challenging. It could have been something better. Like, multiple bosses at once. Just... Or, like, even just duo waves. Like, so many great games before it and after it. Like, uh, instead of making the... Like, we could have had the Ice Boss and the Mr. Brother Loser. Or make them both sentient. The Brother Loser and Ice Boss. Yeah. Or Brother Loser and Big Sad. So you're saying, like, instead of... Instead of having them in stages like they had, Just put them all them together. Days, yeah. Or gotcha. like enemies that complement each other, like a fire, like the fire, a fire enemy and the wind enemy. Give them some like ultimate special they can use together. Mm -hmm. 
you know, something challenging, something different. I feel like it could have been more unique that way. But, it, it, alas, did not happen. For shame. Our king oh, seems shame. disturbed. So, or like even really making the king a bigger thing, like. Yeah, he's not. He, he's not in the story much. He he's legit just like oh I've been robbed. Oh well. My children are missing. My children. That's not I what mean, they took. Aren't those the princesses? I am. I am leaving that in as well. Those are the princesses. They're his no, children. I don't think so. I think you're wrong. I'm pretty no, sure. No, the whole story princesses. starts because is. Can you come here? What? The whole story starts because. He loses out on the premise of the story begins when he loses his magic crystal. Yes, I understand. What do you? Yes. You're so wrong. <clears throat> but yeah, I think though that like, it could have been more interesting, or like, I don't know, at the end we get like a massive power boost or something. I don't know. Just, uh, like I, the, I feel like there was a more interesting thing that could have been done that just kind of wasn't. Like maybe the king has magic of his own. Or like, granted, I, I'm pretty sure there's a way to unlock the king. But it's just a matter of, I don't know. I feel like it's just a waste that the king is somehow our king, but he, he displays no kingliness. He, he's just kind of there. And the most you really see him involved seems to be like the last boss fights that you guys just watched while we were making this. So I, I feel mean, like he was involved in other boss fights though. No, not really. He shows up after the fact to steal all the glory. Mm. He's a loser. That's what he is. He is a failed king and a failed prophet. Bruh. I like that there's stuff that we can still find even after beating the game. That is nice. Like, there's always something to find. It is... The game overall, I think, I, if I had to give it a grade, it would be a B minus. I would give it a B. Solid B. I would give it. You know what? I will up it. It is fun. I'll give it a solid B as well. It's like a 7 out of 10, I would say. I would it, rate it higher than that, just based on animation and, and character design and, and the art. I would probably give it an 8. I'll, I'll probably go actually a little bit higher, 7.5. I think that there is some stuff that could have been done better, but overall... You know what? You're right. I'll, I'll actually change it to an 8. Because overall, this game is, while not perfect, it is exact. It is in the correct direction, I think. Mm -hmm. To being one of the best of its... Well, to being the best of its genre, I suppose. It, it's, it's a lot of fun. It is the most fun. Anything else to add? I have a carrot as a sword. Oh yes, yeah, so we never we never actually mentioned the weapons. The that's one of the other big pluses I would say. The weapons in this game are so unique. I would argue and there's like so many unique. There are a lot of different types of enemies. Like don't get me wrong, that are also unique. Mm -hmm. Like yeah. there are different types of swords. There are just right. Like you can use salami. You can use carrots. So those are weapons in this game. You, also... you have such a versatile amount of, like, animals and what they do for some reason. Like a giraffe that increases your leveling or a hawk that finds you food because he loves you. Or a bat that fights your enemies. Not to mention, there are so many, like, unique bosses. Like this. Oh, 
overall, I would just say that this game is genuinely really fun. And if you like side scrollers, I would play it. Yeah, I would absolutely recommend this to See, all my look, friends. All he does is show up at the end and go, "Hi." Onward! Onward, quick! Get the stuff! And then he stole our gold and ran away. Rude. But I mean, this game is really, really fun. And if you and four of your loser friends, like mine, have nothing better to do on a nice night, the best option I can give you is Castle Crashers. Mm-hmm. Now, as for... I don't know if you realize you have no... Nothing. Oh. With, yeah. That's what the big zero means. So... If... As far as, like, playing it in 2024, I would say it definitely holds up. Help me. For sure. It has withstood the test of time. Current, as, as it stands, so is Scott Pilgrim. Uh, the only other side scroller on the channel, and I would say Scott Pilgrim is absolutely fun, but this game is better than Scott Pilgrim. Yeah, the, I I would. It's say, less confusing. I would say I like Castle Crashers more than Scott Pilgrim. Wow. I can I know how to use my powers here. Yeah. In Scott Pilgrim, it's like, do the do the powers work? Mm -hmm. Here it's oh hey look, poison. Great. I will say. My biggest criticism on that is all of the characters, at least the knights, have this problem where, like, large attack, small projectile, a, a jump attack of whatever their element. And, like, I don't know, it's all kind of the same thing, but with different attributes. Uh, for the most part. Granted, when you get to other, like, not knight-based characters, it is a little different. Sheila wouldn't know about that. I haven't played any yet. But I do. <laughs> I know about it. I'm an expert on it. And Sheila's about to... It's, it is also really easy to miss when things like this is just kind of hidden. Kind of looks like a... Uh, Potato peeler. A potato peeler. Oh, stealing <laughs> my train of thought. Oh my god. But yeah, this game is fun. It's bright. It's colorful. It's not offending nobody. You could probably like you. Could, I think it's fun for all ages. Like this is definitely a family kind of game you could probably play. Yeah, definitely. Um. Yeah. What? Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like. And subscribles. Oh, I guess you're, you don't have to comment, apparently. I mean... Someone's never seen an outro for a YouTube video before. I mean, you can say them in whatever order you want. No. Yes. It's like, comment, and subscribe. That's the order. But what if you want to comment, like, and then subscribe? Or subscribe, comment, how, and How about like? this? How about they just subscribe? <laughs> Like and subscribe. I don't need your opinions. Wow. <laughs> anyway, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun. And I will see you in the next video. Bye-bye. It's not our outro. Bye.